I'm Emmerich the Artist and welcome to my channel. That's a new little icon at the bottom there. Subscribe, like, and share, please. Um, helps the channel out. Uh, so as you know, my channel is more is uh, geared towards the my journey of being an amateur artist. Um, just following the dream I gave up on and learning along the way. I mean, I hope you, you know, it inspires you to do something this similar if that's what your, your dreams were and maybe you're thinking about stopping or maybe picking it back up. Um, so yeah, so today um, I wanted to draw something. Now, I know One Piece has been out for a very long time. Um, I always skipped over it um, at the time. It just didn't uh, call my name. It didn't really appeal to me too much, but I gave it a chance. It, it seemed to be a very popular anime and manga, and I was like, you know what, let me give the anime a try. And I'm actually enjoying it. I'm going through it now. Um, still in season one, but you know, slowly. Been really busy with other things uh, in my personal life, so you know the, the videos are getting harder to come by. Um, just because you know, until I'm absolutely settled, uh, I'm kind of being distracted by other things in my life. But you know, I'm gonna try to be consistent. I think I'm also gonna put. Um, I'm thinking about doing a sketch series where I'm thinking it'll help me upload more frequently, where it'll be more oriented um, towards warming up the hand nothing that is actually like taken too serious i think that might help some people um you know because believe it or not these these youtube artists they pretty much post their best absolute artwork and i don't blame them i mean so you should do you should post your absolute best you know but that's not realistic i mean uh you know if you go and you follow people like jim lee and uh Kim Jong Lee, uh, and a host of, uh, of other artists, uh, not too many, but it's, uh, quite a few others. Uh, they they pretty much will tell you in their own uh, videos that it's not always the, the drawing doesn't always work out. You know, um, you know sometimes you know it just you you have to warm up and because if you try to tackle something. In the beginning, as fast as you know, as as best as you can, you know, like uh, I want to make this like the best piece I've done so far. You know, sometimes you run into problems because there are things that you don't know how to draw. Sometimes, you know, you know your ambitions are greater than your skill set. Um, and you know, so I'm thinking about posting something like that. You know, just some very loose pieces that just um, are not, you know, so well defined, and you know trying to find shapes and you know, pieces and just trying new techniques, trying to find shapes, trying to find my style in it um, for that particular piece. So um, I'll probably be posting some of those, let's see how that goes. Uh, but with this piece here, I wanted, I, I do chubby versions of of uh, characters oftentimes. I don't like to do straight out copies of characters. So like if, you know, you told me to draw Luffy or Luffy, however you want to pronounce him, um, you know, like, uh, hey, I want a commission of Luffy um, from One Piece, you know, can you do it? Even if I don't draw him like this, I won't draw him like the manga or the anime. Um, you'll know it's him, but it'll be in my vision. I, I, for some reason, I just don't find it fun to do that. I don't find it um, very much engaging but I know that for YouTube's algorithm it serves me to draw these popular characters and try to get into it but I also don't just want to do a straight copy a lot of these channels that I see I literally will find the actual original piece um, on the internet and they just straight out copy that piece and they don't credit the artist or um, you know or they just try to imitate the style you know of the artist that you know uh, originated the, the manga or the anime and then not put their own spin and that to me is just you know it's boring I mean that exists already right that's already out there so why do it again let me give you something else uh, so in this piece so I do these chubby versions of them and I was thinking you know how can I do Luffy as a a, a different take you know, I could do him you know as my style you know, regular Quote unquote. So let me try him chubby, and I, you will see here I go through a bunch of little uh, 
iterations because it was kind of hard. He's so skinny and he's, you know, he ate the gum gum fruit so he can stretch. Um, that I don't, I, you know, it was hard for me to envision him chubby. So it didn't really come out like he was chubby, but more like thick. <laughs> Like you see, yeah, I'll, I'll try to expand on the arm. You'll see, yeah, I like to try to, it's too muscular. I want to look a little bit more gum gum, more rubbery. Um, you know, the proportions and stuff like that. And I'm not entirely happy with this piece as the way it came out. It, it was challenging. It was getting his legs to look chubby just didn't work as well as I would have hoped in this piece as others. I've done Spawn, I've done other ones where, you know, it kind of looks pretty cool. Um, I think I could do better. I'll maybe do one more of him like that at some point on the road. I also do a color version of this. I've colored this piece and I'll do that in part two. So this is like part one. Um, there'll be a part two in color. Like I'll go and take this into color. Um, and if you guys like that, uh, I'll do more. Um, I don't do much digital coloring. One, my computer sucks for it. Two, um, I think that you should always learn the traditional way before you do the, the digital way. because. Uh, the, tra the, tra the traditional way will help you solve problems um, whereas in the digital way you can always like find solutions in a much easier manner you can crop ahead move it down up and down you know it's harder to erase ahead and rearrange the whole body to kind of look the way you want it to so but anyway so that's what I was uh, going for here um, just trying to challenge myself and and, and see how I can, you know, um, bring this character to life in my way. And if you notice, I, I, I had a hard time with that fist. Um, I tried a bunch of different ways and, and until I finally figured it out. Um, same thing with the, uh, the hat. Uh, also, um, in this version, I did forget to put the scar and then outline the shirt. I did that later off camera. Um, when I went to color, but um, you'll see this the stills at the end um, where, where that you know that was added. Um, but yeah, so this is basically uh, my take on it. Um, I hope you enjoy it uh, from here on out. Um, oh, by the way, I'm using a pencil uh, brush, I shipped all my art supplies uh, to the new state that I'm moving to. So I literally just have a, a, a backpack full of stuff, um, just this, like bare minimum things, you know, a few gray tone markers and, and some chameleon markers that I have left over who a lot of them have dried out because I don't use them as much. So, um, but um, I, so I shipped my, my, my brand new Windsor uh, ink brush that I purchased and so um, you know, I like the Pentel brushes, but I got used to real hair brushes uh, to draw with. So um, hopefully soon I'll be able to do that again. And I was working on actually a, a, a Goku piece that I shipped by accident the wrong sketchbook. So, um, so yeah, yeah, that's what I'm working here with. So um, let me know in the comments below who else you want me to try if you have an idea. Um, you know, on the other hand, I'll try also original pieces and I hope you guys enjoy those as well. Um, which that, that's what I really love to do is more original stuff that nobody's seen before. Everybody knows what Wolverine looks like. I do love drawing the Joker and Batman, but, um, you know, everybody does those also. So anyway, leave a comment below, share, subscribe, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, the next one will be, um, the color version.